guys, welcome back to Tech It Legends with me, Wyatt. So as you can see, I'm on top of this tower. My inventory looks normal. Everything seems the same. Apart from between episodes, I've actually built a structure. Look at it. It's boring, it's grey, it's dull. But I like it. I find it quite industrious. I think it's going to really drive my endeavours. Uh, I use most of the condensers to get m nearly all this stuff. I'm not going to lie. And yeah, so it's been nice and lazy and good. And if you come across here, you see that I have built my tr traditional to-do list. And hopefully I'll actually achieve stuff on this one. Uh, it's, it's very vague, but I reckon we can do it. So, power, geothermal and solar. I want to set up those two kinds for setting up power. Um, and transferring it with energy links to my resource one which is the quarry when the quarry is set up I am going to use um, various diamond pipes to filter out stuff and anything that I don't want to be processed will be put into the condenser and that will create more stuff for me uh, blue power I've never really used it apart from little bits and pieces nothing too much I mean it's just there and I've not really utilized it so I want to do it what does it do you know what it do and uh, how to use it um, IC2 I want to make a factory line automated and foolproof so I'll spend some time doing that uh, empower I want to empower myself so I'm going to get better armor better equipment and I want to get a swing full friending gale Swift Wolf's Rending Gale, the, the flying ring. Uh, quite difficult, well, sort of difficult to get stuff because it costs a lot of EMT. I think I have to go in the nether as well, which sucks. Which brings me on to the next one, which is the nether. I'm going to have to go into the nether, set up a base there, create ender chests to put stuff back and forward. And hopefully, using pumps and whatnot, I can pump up magma and lava, put it in ender chests, bring it back. And yeah. So that's really the beginning of this episode. It's not going to be a long one. I think maybe seven minutes, something like that, five, six, seven minutes. I just want a quick one just to begin things. Uh, I accidentally took a fucking screenshot, didn't I? I'm stupid. Instead of pressing F1, I pressed F2 and it cocked things up. But that's fine. So we're going to go have a look. I've left the macerator and the uh, electric furnace ticking over with stuff in it. So we're going to go have a look and see how they're getting on. And then we are going to see how to make a geothermal generator or solar generator. Um, I might make an extractor for rubber resin. Because rubber is going to be a huge thing for us. So that's fine. We've got lots of tin in there. That's cool. The macerator has got some gold dust. Love a bit of gold dust. That's working. That's working. Everything's working how it should. Uh, there's some more zinc in there. We've got three stacks of tin. Tin's going to be coming out of our butts. It's slowly losing power because we've not put any coal in there. So let's condense some coal. Uh, by the way, yellorium is half. one Two, two yellorium ingots is one diamond. Just let that sink in for a moment. Right. Bam. Like. So that's quite incredible. I've always, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, how much Elorium you, you, you got. So that. Is half of that. Uh, you can't condense a uh, zombie head for whatever reason as well. So we're just going to put the diamond in. for condensing and then we're going to put some more power into this bad boy yeah that's just going to tick on up so we're just going to get lots of stuff I think I think we're just going to really make things flourish tin dust, tin, tin after tin it's going to be all this stuff so let's focus on our next task which was geothermal oh I'm sorry an extractor, let's build an extractor 
that's what's the recipe for that? Two, four tree taps, machine block, electric circuit. So it seems simple enough. Uh, we need a, a tree tap. I might have used it. We've got some wires here. We've got some copper dust as well, and some rubber. So maybe we want to just get this copper dust burning. Put that in there. Let's condense. All good. We need to smelt up some iron to make some refined iron. Thankfully, we have enough here. Do we have any iron in there? Yeah, we've got some iron in there. That's cool. We can do that. Electric furnace. That's going. But yeah, so we'll see how this goes. Tree taps. I need four of them. Let's take a stack of wood. And make the tree taps. Cool. We've done that. We got these. Energy flow. Apparently, I've only just gotten it, even though I've done it before. Fine. Now we need two redstone and one more refined iron. Fuck. So let's just get one of them. Put pop the iron in. So let's just go ahead and put all that in there. Let's get that refined iron. We'll make a machine block. Good stuff. We got that refined iron. So let's make this now. I just feel an extractor is just going to help us a bit more um, because rubber is just going to be a pain. And this means you can, I think you can actually uh, extract rubber wood. So I'll put the extractor there. Nice. Good stuff. So we've got the extractor to get more rubber. Um, let's have a think. Actually, do you know what? I think I'm going to call it on that one. It's a real quick one. So I've been Revenant Wife. This has been Tech It Classics, a real quick one today. And I'll see you guys next time.